Okay, so here we are on Seaside. It's not even the bypass here, it's actually Seaside. If I continue straight there, it would have brought me up to fourth. I could have continued right out to UBC or straight up the hill towards off Broadway, 16th, so on. Now this is awesome. Alright, so here we are crossing Alma. There's no signal here. The best you can do is wait for a break in traffic. Then you get put into one of these car canyons. Which is typical for a lot of the bike routes in Vancouver. Cars parked on both sides. And one lane in between them, which is room enough for a bike, or even two bikes, going opposite ways. Not much room for a car and anything else. So. A lot of people are uncomfortable with riding along through here, or at least these car canyons, because you never know when a door is going to open. You never know when something's going to pull out without looking. Visibility at some of the intersections is awful. On the right side, there's less traffic than the arterials. But particularly during rush hour, in some of the roads, you can really uh, find people trying to find shortcuts from the arterials, particularly as they get backed up or accidents happen. These two-way stops here are dangerous because often find motorists don't stop there when they do have the stop or they do stop and then go because they expect that the cross traffic has a stop sign as well. All right, here we have Belcava, north south route through Kits. We're going to continue along on Broadway here. Or this is the seaside. We're going to continue along the seaside. Balclava is pretty good in that it goes up a bit of a valley. So it gets you south through Kits without too much hill climbing. Alright, back to McDonald's here. Again, there's no easy way to get across without waiting for breaking traffic. It's a Sunday today, so traffic's pretty light. All right, here we have the first traffic circle. Secret to traffic circles is you yield to traffic in them, and you always go around to the right. You don't go through them to the left. If there's somebody in there already, you don't go in them. Two simple rules. So few people know them.
traffic circles bother me too because usually a lot of cars just treat them as chicanes don't slow down much at all for them and of course if they're not slowing down you can't see all right so this is seaside remember how nice and direct and straight it was to go along point gray road there in cornwall this is seaside the equivalent bike route and it just weaves in and out through all these streets here But also, it's just so indirect. It adds so little, it adds so much time, rather, to the commute or your ride for no apparent reason other than keeping you off the arterial, which is arguably more dangerous than keeping you off the arterial, or keeping you on the arterial, rather. All right, now technically, say on seaside, we're supposed to hang a left here on the path. Isn't that fun? Most people take the diagonal coming across the grass there, myself included. Uh, this path here alongside Kitts Beach is always full of slow bikes and pedestrians. Much worse in the summertime. So your alternative is this or over on the road where you can keep up 25, 30 kilometers an hour pace without any problem. Um, yeah, we're cutting through a parking lot here. This is uh, still, hello, come on! Yeah, just like that. Um, this is still part of the recommended uh, route. Go figure. Okay, so we've gone twice the distance necessary, I think, to get on the Bird Bridge. Only to come back to Cornwall here. All right. Now I turn left here to go into the Bird Bridge. But again, the city recommended way seems to be to go up to First Avenue. It's not clear to me exactly why. Okay, now we're back to first again. <laughs> 